Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very fun to test out for you and I'm really excited to see if this will work, if it doesn't work. I've only ever tried spray foundations before, but didn't work out. I was on Ulta the other day buying some drugstore stuff. You guys will probably see it very soon. I think I'm going to do an Ulta haul. I think I am. But I saw these Barely Sheer Airbrush Cosmetics Spray on Bronzer and Spray on Blush and I was like, I need to try that. So they're very annoying. They sound like spray paint cans, like for real. For the bronzer, it says Sun Kissed Radiant Streak Free Spray on Bronzer. And supposedly, you just have to shake both cans for five minutes and then hold cans six to eight inches away from your face and spray using light pulses. We're gonna try these out and see if they work today or see if they're a hot mess. Because sometimes these things can be a hot mess. So I'm gonna try to spray it on this side of my face and hopefully it works out. If not, I'll try to spray it on a brush and see if I can use it on this side. This brand is on Ulta Online. I, I think it's, it says it's only at Ulta and I believe it's only online. I've never seen it in store. But they have the blushes, which are $12.99. They have three colors. They have a spray on face primer, spray on bronzer, which I'm gonna show you guys. A Sure Stay setting powder, spray on body mist shimmer, which has a terrible review. It has one star. A Barely Sheer Kabuki sponge. So that's all they have. They don't really have too much going on with their section at Ulta, but you know, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see if it's good stuff. Let's do it. And it was only $12.99. At least it wasn't like that Dior foundation that I tried years ago. Do we remember that? Who has been here since I tried out that Dior foundation? Let me know. I would love to know. I'm going to go ahead and do bronzer first, and I'm going to shake it for five seconds like it says to. And this is what the packaging looks like, by the way. I actually think it's really nice. It looks really pretty. Before I start shaking and baking, I did apply a new foundation that I've been really liking. If you follow me on Snapchat, which if you don't, Go follow me on Snapchat. I think I want to start doing like little reviews on Snapchat. I was doing like a kind of tested out on this and I really do like this so far. I think it's awesome. It's the foundation I'm wearing now. This is a Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation and I, I got this at Ulta as well. I can't remember how much it was. It's in the shade 05. This is a little too dark for me, but it's perfect when I self tan. Uh, but right now, you know, it's just a smidge dark. So far, I'm loving this and I'm also wearing the Tarte shade tape concealer and the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour combined underneath my eyes. So I figured I would tell you what was on my face and let's go ahead and shake this baby up. And you get one fluid ounce by the way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ah! So I took the lid off and the spray thingy came off so let's try to put that back on without spraying ourselves. Is that shimmer? No. Okay. So we're just going to try to spray this. I didn't do the rest of my face makeup. I'm wearing just a West Point hoodie because, you know, if I get it dirty, it's okay. I put my hair up, so. Let's just hope it turns out for the best. So six to eight inches away from face, and it says light pulses. I don't even know where I'm spraying this, honestly. Whoa! I see it. I think. Or is that my mind? I feel like I see it. I feel like I see it. I know it says light pulses, but I mean. Sometimes I feel like it's just squirting out air, like now. I feel like this side looks bronze, but I don't know if it's like me seeing things. But I feel like it looks bronze. But it's not very intense, like it's not a dark bronzer. Whoa, there's a little. You definitely need to shake it up a little more to get more of the color. What's going on? Okay, we're having some malfunctioning issues. Okay, yeah, that's bronze. I mean, it is a pretty bronzer. You can see it. It's like a natural tan. I'll tell you what, though. It's been malfunctioning a little bit. Like, I'll feel it on my face, and then all of a sudden it goes to air, and you have to shake it up again. So you definitely need to continuously shake it. I'm probably using more than the average person, but I just love bronzer. Let's do a little more. Okay. 
God, it like runs out so quickly. I'm gonna go through this whole freaking bottle. It's a very natural looking bronzer though. Like I really like the color that it's giving. I kind of like it. Um, I think it's cool. Let's do the blush now. Let's see. Let's hope we can see a difference. So I went with the shade Rose. I like to apply blush to the apples of my cheeks and then back. Some people like to stay away from their apples. I personally like to apply it there. So we're going to try to do that without looking like a clown. Ah, the top popped off again. Oh my God, I'm kind of scared for this one. I don't know. I don't see any blush. It's there. That's the color of it right there, but. Oh, I see it. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing it now. Make sure you have a fan going. I don't have a fan in here, unfortunately. I would definitely use less of the blush and more of the bronzer just because I personally love bronzer. I like to look pretty tan. I do see the little bit of flush that the blush gives. This is kind of, I think this is like the lighter shade. You can see right here on my apples a little bit where that pink is. Um, and definitely in person I can see it. I'm just looking at the viewfinder and like, oh, I don't know if you guys can, but I can definitely see it. I don't want to do any more blush because then it's just going to be too intense. Um, I definitely saw the bronzer. I do like the bronzer, but the only thing I noticed, I don't know. If it's because I used so much of the bronzer, but I had to continuously shake it and spray it on my face. Uh, one thing I will say is it really did not get all up in my hair, which is impressive. Usually, like, especially spray foundations, they will get everywhere and you're just looking like a hot... Wait, oh my god, I literally said that and I see it in my hair right here. Do you guys see that? See that pink tint? Just be cautious when you're spraying it on your face that you don't get it too much in your hair. I was kind of worried about that with bronzer. I thought I was going to get it everywhere, but I really didn't. It doesn't feel super makeup-y at all. Um, one thing I will say is that it feels kind of just... feels like a cream that you haven't set on your face. That's what it feels like to me. Um, so I would probably take a translucent powder and use a beauty blender or use a duo fiber brush and get a really light amount on there. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to take my Flower Beauty powder and take a little bit of that and just lightly dust it over just to set it. Would I say that I would purchase it again and use it again? Probably not. Uh, I'm a huge fan of powder bronzers and like having a lot of control. Even though this is beautiful, I really like the bronzer. I think it's going to be great for like my neck and my chest to really bronze it up if I need it to match my foundation for the day or something because I tend to always have to do that since I do self tan or whatever. It's just convenient to have a spray bronzer. Then again, I don't know. It probably will transfer on your clothes. Of course, I don't know that yet. Um, speaking of clothes, I feel like it's not all over my black top which is nice you can definitely feel when you spray it like where it's going on your face so you're kind of nervous at first but once you feel where it's spraying at you'll feel it because it's like a cooling sensation then you'll know kind of where to apply your bronzer and everything I would recommend this to someone who likes cool things like this uh, if you like spray products like spray foundations whatever I would totally recommend it I think it'd be cool I don't know if it's like super easy but it's very cool I like it I'm gonna continue to use them up you know uh, that's another thing. I'll probably use this bronzer up in a minute. I mean, it already feels much lighter than the blush, but I feel like I'll use this up within like four times of using it, but I'm going to try to just use it for my neck and my chest. But it did give a beautiful bronze, natural tan to my face, so I definitely think they do what they say. They're really cool. They're only $12.99, so I mean, if you want to just go and try it out, I think it's definitely worth it. It's fun, and it's just something different to try. That is it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you test this out? Would you not? Are you surprised that it didn't get everywhere? Because I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.